What is up today, YouTube? Hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. I'm talking through my uh, headset or helmet mic today, so hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. It always sucks when you record something, spend a lot of time recording, and then you get home and the audio is like complete garbage. Um, so it's like a 50-50. Hopefully it's all good. But without any further ado, welcome back to the channel. Got the Ducati Street Fighter V2 with me. She's still running strong, still having a good time with her. Um, unfortunately, this is like one of the last days, pretty much the last day. It's going to be nice. Um, when I say nice, it was roughly in the 50s today, mid 50s. Sun was out, so I had to ride. Um, it's been pretty chilly, starting to get cold now. So <sighs> riding season is pretty much almost over at this point. So I was like, I got to get out and ride and uh, clean the bike up so she'll look nice in the garage. Um, I did get caught in the uh, snow like an idiot the other day. It snowed in Oklahoma out of nowhere. I had to work late, um, cover the night shift. I'm an IT, so every once in a while I have to do that, which sucks. Um, so I did that, and of course, later in my shift it started snowing. Fortunately, fortunately by the time I got off, um, all the snow had pretty much cleared. It was just sticking to the, uh, the grass. Of course, it hadn't gotten cold enough for it to stick to the ground, which was good. But it was slick, um, so it was it was uh, <laughs> this, these Diablo Rosso fours. I don't think they're really made for you know cold weather riding, um, especially when it's like damn near below freezing. Um, but they did the job. I did put the bike in wet mode, and I just coasted along the uh, the side roads. I didn't even. I didn't dare to get on the highway. I was like, ah, I'm not going to risk it. Um, it was The ride was nice. It did feel like I could kind of feel the bike. Um, I could feel it kind of sliding a little bit the closer I got to my house, which is ironic. But I was going around 20, 25, of course, and I'm going slow. This is around 1030 at night, 11 o'clock. And, of course, people had to get on my ass, and I'm, like, waving them around, telling them, go around, go around, I'm on a bike, you fucking idiot. Even though I'm the idiot on the bike <laughs> in those conditions, but the, the bike did its job. Um, one of the reasons why I got this bike was because of the technology. And if you keep up with the Ducatis, the new V2, or the, excuse me, the new, the new V4, Street Fighter V4, has a crap ton of rider assist settings, all that stuff, so... I'm actually thinking about, I don't know, I'm like on the fence. I'm like, I really want to keep this bike because it's my first bike. But at the same time, I'm ready for that V4 now. I want that. I think I'm ready now. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see once the weather gets nice again. Um, we'll see what my pockets are looking like. Because damn how what my uh, emotions are telling me. If my, if my bank account isn't measuring up, then no can do. But yeah. Give you guys a quick review of the bike before I uh, store her away. We are now at, let's see, 3639, 3,639 miles. And I've been enjoying it. Um, only issue I really have with this bike is, let's see, I would say that sometimes these buttons get stuck, which is kind of like there right there. See how that's stuck? Stuck for a second. It's supposed to, that one's supposed to be, uh, it's not supposed to bounce back but this one is as you can see there it was stuck um that sticks every once in a while like that uh this one doesn't really stick um i do need to get the uh ducati spacers because that slop is ridiculous i've just been living with it i don't really think about it every once in a while i think about it but just one of those things i will i will do want that while uh during the winter replace those um and I will replace these headlights or turn signals, I mean. But other than that, the bike has been great. Um, I run through gas, which is my fault. But <laughs> at the beginning, when I first got the bike, it was uh, every once in a while I would have issues starting. Why? I do not know. Um, it would take, like, I don't know what it was. But maybe maybe the fuel was low, but the, the fuel light never came on when this happened. So um, what I would do is... I would just like I would shake the bike rock it a little bit to make sure that the fuel was flowing or whatever and then after it seems like every time I did would do that it would eventually cut back on after about the second the second uh 
throttle hit or ignition hit so haven't had that issue ever since the initial service done but you know it's 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 been a good bike so far uh, i've had had to replace the tires or excuse me my rear tire because i caught a nail um the front tire is still looking good so i mean the only thing i could say about the bike is with this being a ducati the only thing that is kind of annoying but you kind of get you know what you're getting yourself into when you buy a ducati is the expense of pretty much every accessory or maintenance uh any type of accessory for this bike is expensive like if you want something small like simple as a tail tidy you're going to spend two hundred dollars you want new turn signals so you're going to spend two hundred dollars <laughs> pretty much i think probably the cheapest thing would be the ducati spacers and the grips pretty much it uh if you want to change your mirror out you know you're going to spend i i got that one off of from uh where did i get that from uh, cycle gear for like it was on sale it was 68.99 but i got it for 39 dollars. it was like half off whatever so i was like yep i will take that uh what else tires are expensive like i thought tires were expensive for my car but these are pretty expensive um i think they're almost pretty much 300 dollars for the rear tire um so kind of one of those things get a ducati and also i'm glad i took my bike to, i always take the bike to the dealership to get anything done on it um knock on wood thankfully i haven't had to really do too much i've only taken up there taking it up there excuse me to get for the initial service and then when the um uh when i had to get the rear tire replaced i ordered that offline because it was back back ordered on their end so i found a another outlet to get it got it took the bike down to dallas and they pretty much changed it for free. So that was that. But yeah, the bike has been uh it's been pretty good. People will think I'm crazy because I take the bike to Dallas every time. <laughs> but I enjoy it. I don't mind it. I rather like I paid the money for the extended warranty, all that. Um so I'm like I'm not too worried about it. You know, it is what it is. Uh I say the greatest. Uh I say my top well, everything I guess is going to be my top, but my, my, my best mod so far would definitely be the mirror delete. See, I got the little homeboy right there. Uh, I do need to get another one. Uh, the second thing will be the radiator guard and the tail tidy. So, as you can see, the bike is looking, it looks completely different from stock. Well, not completely, but those deletes do make quite a quite a difference so it's a little sleeker so nice and sleek and if you do end up uh you know deleting your mirrors uh you can this uh, adapter right here you can flip it over or whatever and it'll the it will cause it will these will be lower instead of they're up higher because you know what i'm talking about if you know but yeah all over the place with this video i'm excited to make a new video <laughs> i've been putting it off like i just not necessarily putting it off it just takes a lot of time to outside of what i do i have my job and then i have the business i got the wife of course she's number one so there's always something but remember guys you got to make time for you and enjoy what you do i did race a if you're wondering it can be a a brand new Corvette C8. Um, I destroyed one of those. <laughs> it's like pretty much anything uh, below. I say once you get around the 600 mile per hour or 600 horsepower range, yeah, you're gonna have that other car is more than likely gonna give you a run for your money. But if you get a launch in, get launch in this thing in first, finito. Anything under uh, 600 horsepower. So the bike does die. I'm not gonna say die but you start to you loot you uh realize the you don't have the aerodynamics like you would with the uh panigale so around 135 140 ish <clears throat> you're literally uh being held back because of the uh you don't have the aerodynamics so good bike i love the bike as I always say if you are interested in a ducati street fighter 
get one, you know, or at least test the bike out, you know, test it out, uh, do your research, make sure that you have a Ducati uh, service, authorized Ducati uh, service center near you. Um, so if anything happens, you know, you'll be, you'll be good as well as make sure you get the warranty. I have learned that with uh, <laughs> a lot of things. Always buy that warranty, especially when it's something that's, you know, considered exotic or whatever. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are out there riding safe, enjoying life, being the best you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back home before it gets too dark and enjoy the rest of my ride. So with that being said, guys, Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I know I was all over the place, but I'm getting back into my YouTube groove. But yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.